Welcome to a new Monday morning routine. It's Coffee with Strangers with Kelly Lemon. Hey, it's Kelly, and today I'm downtown to grab coffee with Herman Baskerville, otherwise known as Big Herm. Herm's the owner of Big Herm's Kitchen and Catering on 2nd Street in the heart of Jackson Ward. And if you saw my article in Boomer Magazine, you know what a staple Big Herm is to Richmond's southern soul food scene. Here we go. Let's cheers. I know who you are. I'm not going to be happy if Richmond doesn't know who you are. I'm me either. Who are you and what do you do in the city? I'm Big Herm. Um, full name, um, Herman Baskerville. I'm on a place called Big Herm's Kitchen and Catering right here in Jackson Ward, 315 North 2nd Street. And I'm um, on TV a little bit, a couple times a month. I'm on Virginia this morning on a little show I call Cooking and Cocktails. Do you drink coffee? I do. Every day? Every day. How do you like it? Um, just a little bit of cream and sugar. Why'd you choose 2nd Street? I had a full service restaurant years ago called the Corner Bar and Grill. With the full service restaurant, you lose a lot of time from home. We decided to go from there and we went strictly to catering. So we started off 11 to 3. Um, that went well for the first two years. And then now we do 11 to 6, Monday through Friday. Now I am looking forward to hopefully getting another full service restaurant now. Oh, okay. Um, my daughter's about to go off to college. My son is about to go to high school. So yeah, so it's been good. Are you a chef? Or are you a cook? I guess I'm a cook. I haven't been in, I haven't begun any culinary school mm. or have any documentation. Even my chef, I call him a chef. Uh -huh. He tells me all the time, Herm, I'm not a chef. Mm. Um, but he's like a MacGyver in the kitchen. I can formulate things, come up with some recipes. Um, he's the mastermind behind the majority of the things. But I cook, you know, probably 10, 12 hours a week just to show people I can still do it. Because uh, you never want, you know, some of your employees to get too uh, loosey goosey and like, oh, Herm can't do it. Oh, just move back. What's your specialty? What do you know that when you come to Big Herms, we know this is going to be good? And I would say our catfish, mm -hmm. um, we do catfish bites, yep. our shrimp, uh, all that stuff is hand breaded to order. People love our salads. We have an awesome shrimp salad, we have a buffalo chicken salad. I want anything on my menu to be in your top three. You know, if I had five people taste these burgers and they're not in their top three, we need to revisit our recipe. Mm. But the consistency factor, to me, is huge. Yeah. Um, and if I got a burger today, I want to taste the same, same next ways, week. Yeah. You are um, participating in something that I know well, which oh, is uh, Richmond Black Restaurant Experience. Yes, ma'am. You are in it for the second year. We had uh, all kinds of diversities come out. It was insane. Um, and once again, it was just everybody was so cool. It was better than I could ever imagine personally. Yeah. And, once again, and I'm not getting paid to say that. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, but it was awesome. It, yeah. was, it, it was great. You are unique in the fact that you are takeout and catering and walk walk up. We would drive by and your line is always long, but your line was just a little bit longer it this was. time. Yeah. It was. That line, it was insane. <laughs> and this time we're going to double up, you know, add some extra staff as well. So I hope yeah. I can get out there and shake some hands, kiss some babies. Where are you from? Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg, born that's and home. Raised. Born and raised. Born and raised. You weren't cooking corporately, so did you really just start your cooking career when you started? Yes. Cor okay. You said you lived in Hanover. Why did you guys choose to live outside of the city? Uh, I guess I never had an inspiration to live in the city. Yeah. Probably one of the biggest things when we moved back here, my daughter was three, mm -hmm. and we were looking for a good school system. I just love the diversity of the city. Yeah. Um, and I bring my kids in here as much as possible. Too many times we get wrapped up into what's in our neighborhood yeah. or what's, what's around us. And your reality, unfortunately, is not everybody else's reality. Mm. Um, so we just try to bring them to the city. I think it's critical just to see the diversity. And we're all people. So, yeah. yeah. I know, Herm, I know. Every day, I preach yeah. it every day, I oh, preach it every day. People. When you are not cooking, when you are in Herm's world, what are you doing? I'm a Crown Royal Jane Cook. Come on, Nick. I'm going to high five you all day. Yeah, no more than once a week or once every two weeks, like that with a cigar. Okay. If you are going out to eat, where are you going? We love the Harcha. The other corporate restaurant, the only corporate restaurant we really like going to is P.F. Yeah, that's a yeah. Uh, as far as consistency and all that stuff. Are you a music man? Old school hip hop. Okay. So uh, I'm on the deck with my cigar, my crown and ginger. Um, I got some old, got some Jay Z, some yeah. Biggie, some Tupac, and, and I'm weird. O only two stations I have on my iPad or whatever is um, Jill Scott, okay, and Jay Z. That's whatever cool. mood I'm feeling, it's gonna be one, <laughs> either one or the other. Do you binge watch TV? What's nope. You? No. And I get caught up into the old shows, whether it's a Cosby show. Okay. I've seen a hundred times. Right, but you Everybody but you loves Raymond. I don't know any of the new stuff, any yeah. of the new shows. Uh, yeah. like the orange is blue, orange is blue. <laughs> I, I don't, you know. You see orange is the new blue, I love it. What are you looking forward to? What's coming up uh, spring, summer? We always have a good time at Two Street Festival, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I'm on Two Street, so it makes it even easier yeah. and more fun. Do you think you'll leave Richmond? I don't foresee myself, myself ever leaving the city. I love the city and I would love once again to have a full service restaurant somewhere in the city. I love the area from like 14th Street 
up to the Scott's Edition area yeah. in between. Give me your 15 second elevator speech on Richmond is. Richmond is a very diverse city, um, very up and coming. It's not the Richmond of old. A lot of different restaurants popping up, a lot, a lot of more things going on. It's just a great city. Um, people in the city are just awesome. And it's just an awesome city. Um, to, to go to and it's easy to get to right up the interstates all uh, right through it yeah and it just makes it really easy and very welcome to hear the rest of my interview with big herm check out the coffee with strangers podcast in your preferred podcast app subscribe to this channel on youtube and visit coffee with strangers to sign up for the newsletter oh and keep an eye on newsstands for a new issue of richmond grid magazine okay see you soon